Good morning, grade fours, and welcome to our lesson on converting grams to kilograms. Now, first of all, I'm going to do a few examples with you so that you will know how to do them when it's your turn to do them in the lesson. Okay, so let's have a look um, at the board here. How to convert grams to kilograms. Now, remember the information you already know, which is 1,000 grams are equal to one kilogram. Let's listen, remember that. It's very important to remember that. Let's hear the examples now below. So now if we're wanting to change 3,000 grams to kilograms, then we must look how many thousands we've got. We have got then 3,000. So that's going to give us then three kilograms. Right, now when we come to 6,000 grams, how many thousands do we have? That's right, we have 6,000. So that means that we are going to convert that to 6 kilograms. There will be 6 kilograms in the 6,000 grams. And on number 3, we've got 8,000 grams. So therefore, it will of course be, that's right, it will be 8 kilograms. Now what happens in a case like number 4 when you've got, you've got thousands, but you've also got hundreds, and maybe you'll have tens and units as well. And let's have a look what we do now. So let's make sure we've got the right number as our thousand. So let's move places. We're going to move from the right hand here. We're going to move, remember, three places. And then when we get there, we know this is our thousands. So it makes it very easy. And then we're going to write our one thousand as a one kilogram there. And how many grams are left over? There are 500 grams. And of course, there we simply write them here as 500 grams. And then um, number five. So the same thing, let's do the same thing. We're going to count one, two, three places. And then we know after that we've got our kilograms. So we write in our kilograms um, here, three kilograms. And how many grams are left over? 750. And we simply write it like that, 750 grams left over. And we write it like that. The last one, our three places, let's count from the right hand side, one, two, three, and it gives us the 7,000 grams, and then we write 7 kilograms, because we know that 1,000 grams or 1 kilogram, how many grams are left over, and of course it's 355, and so we simply write 355 grams. Okay, so you can see how easy that is. Now I hope you're going to have fun doing your... Um, activities today in your lesson. Enjoy it.